The Golden Spoon in Hopkinton started as a coffee shop in 1981 before turning into a full restaurant in 2001. The Golden Spoon has become a Sunday morning tradition for many local residents, but as owner Bill Morgan said, the Golden Spoon isn't saying goodbye, they're saying see you later. The restaurant will open again in about six months at a new location. It's tough. It's tough to, uh, to say see you later to everybody because we're going to be reopening, but uh, people like it. They like, the, they like the charm of the old building, uh, but it, it's just made it too tough for us to operate. We need a new space, uh, so for us it's exciting. Uh, we get to take a little break and open up in a new place and uh, hopefully have everybody come back and, uh, you know, carry on. I'm sure they will. Uh, where are you guys going to be uh, reopening? Um, well, uh, we're going to be opening up at the uh, next door. Uh, there's a new building going up um, on Lumber Street, um, at the same property where the dynasty is. Uh, and that's, unfortunately, the timing didn't work out. You know, uh, we thought we were going to be able to make a, a little bit sooner transition. Uh, we were hoping for six weeks, but it, it might be six months. So we get to take a little break and um, have a little bit of time off, regroup, and uh, reopen. And I'm imagining that uh, it'll be probably a, a bigger space that you're going to reopen in, or is it going to be about the same size? Uh, a little bit bigger. Um, a, you know, a little bit better setup. You know, this is really a, a, a an old farmhouse that um, Fred and Jean Russo took, and they they made part of it to like a little truck stop, a coffee shop. Um, and then as the town grew, and uh, my wife and I took over, we expanded it more of a restaurant. Um, and so it's you know it's worked because we've had longtime staff, and, and we've kind of made it work. But it's really not. Um, optimum. It's really, uh, you know, it's difficult. Um, so just getting in a new, a new space, you know, be more efficient, um, you know, easier. But uh, basically, there's probably the same seating, maybe just a little bit more. Um, we really, you know, we, we fill it up on the weekends, but most days, you know, with a, just a really short wait. Um, you know, it's a, it's a casual place, it's fast service, so, you know, the tables turn over. We don't really need a lot more seating. Uh, so, you know, we have about 70 now, so if we do, you know, 75 or 80, that would be great. Sarah, you guys have had a lot of success in this space where you guys are now. Uh, do you have any uh, words for the community and, and your customers that have uh, come throughout the years? Well, we've considered ourselves fortunate to have a Long-time staff and uh, long-time regular customers, um, and we uh, we appreciate it, and uh, and we've loved uh, meeting and getting to know everybody, and um, it's it's really that's been the, the the best part of the business. That's really what that's why we've loved the business, um, and so we you know we look forward to seeing everybody again. Like I say, it's not a goodbye; it's a see you later. The Golden Spoon is more than more than just a building, <laughs> so. Uh, we like to say it's an experience, <laughs> and it certainly has been an experience. <laughs> we've, we've been here as the, as the town has grown, and uh, we, you know we want to continue and go into the future. You know we like uh, to see other families come in and the kids grow. And a lot of kids have worked here, and uh, it's really it's really been nice. It's really been a pleasure. <laughs>